So what I'm gonna do is show you how to make a, a planet in a bottle, just like these two that I've got in front of me here. They look a lot like lava lamps because that's exactly what they are. And we're going to create one of our own. It just has three really simple ingredients that you can get from the local supermarket. So with uh, what we've got set up here is that we have something that is sitting on the bottom and then it gets hot and it becomes light and it floats to the top and then it gets cold and it starts to sink. We've got the continental crust floating on the top and every once in a while a little bit of it is getting sucked down and it will eventually come back up again. And that's not actually a bad um, analogue for how the earth works. And this is a process we call convection and it's very active even in the solid earth, it's very active. So what you have to be a little bit careful about when you do this, this thing here is hot. You shouldn't drink any of these things, uh, even though they come from the supermarket. And you need to have some uh, paper towel to clean up. Take it gently as you go and it should all be all right. Okay, probably the first step for this is to get hold of some sort of container. The ones I'm using are these quite decorative bottles, uh, carefully emptied, remove all the labels, uh, and just make sure they're not too delicate. So these ones are, are great. They're quite thick glass. Um, they have thick, sturdy bottom underneath, and that's, that's kind of what we need. Uh, we need something to warm it up with. Uh, so this one, I'm using a standalone hot plate. Uh, the one thing I don't advise is doing this on a gas stove. So let's, let's look at what we have. So this is our, this is our uh, I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna try and call it continental crust. This is our oil layer. As you probably guess, if I, put the, if I put this on top of water, it will float and it will stay floating and I can't really do much about it. But I've got this uh, rubbing alcohol that you can buy from the, from the pharmacy. And if I put that into here, it's not quite so cut and dried. Now I have the oil not floating, actually. If I look at it, it's, it stayed sunk. And so now I've got, I've got some water and I've got some rubbing alcohol and I've got some oil. The oil, will, oil would float on the water, it will sink in the rubbing alcohol. So the clever thing with this is if we mix a little bit of water into, into our lamp, we can choose whether the oil should float or sink. Or if we're really clever, we can get it exactly halfway in between where it doesn't really want to float, doesn't really want to sink, but it sort of depends on how hot the system is. So that's the kind of science of what we're trying to achieve. We're trying to understand what it is in the balance between you know, two different materials and heat and, and understand how our planet evolves. And this is the little sort of toolkit we use to do it. It's very, very close actually. It's half floating and half sinking. So that's really what we want. I, I don't want to put too much in because it'll probably immediately flip over the other way. We'll go cloudy. Oh, we're doing all right. All right, now, here we go. Now the oil is starting to lift off of the bottom and we're getting close to what a lava lamp might look like. All right, so now we've got droplets. Sometimes they sink, sometimes they rise. They're actually just sitting there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is, well, we don't know what'll happen, but we can put it on the hot plate to see what happens when we heat it up. It may go, it may, it may become a lava lamp. So already we can see that the heat is starting to get into the bottom. So there is already a sort of overturning convective circulation, we would call that. And um, you can see some movement in there. So that's just interesting in its own right. We can see that the hot stuff is rising, the cold stuff is sinking. So that's already very similar to the sorts of things we see in planets. So if you try this, that's actually all you need to do. You don't really need it to be super hot. It doesn't actually, it's actually just it, it, if these are really close together, then you just have to warm it up a little bit and you'll get this behavior. If it gets too hot, we don't, it'll boil over and that's not really what we want to achieve at all. So, All right, so what's the difference between what I just made there and what I made before in these much larger jars? Well, one thing is that they're actually bigger. And so we can use this experiment to try to understand what happens in little planets versus big planets. The Earth is quite a big planet from that point of view, but Mars or even some of the icy moons of, uh, of the outer planets, they're considerably, they scale to be a bit smaller. So we can actually use these experiments to try to understand what a difference it makes as to how big the jar is. So the lava lamp, slightly different in that we really, you know, the, the, the benefit of this is, is that it's slow, gentle, and the colors are there and all these interesting patterns occur. 
And actually, there's not much difference between this and this. So this, uh, this oil in here is actually olive oil. Um, and why is it bright red like that? Well, I actually dissolved a bunch of um, kids' crayons in there. <laughs> so I, I went and stole the bright red crayons uh, from the art box, warmed them up with some oil, and made myself some red lava. So that makes a beautiful color. Should point out it contains lots of other water-soluble dyes and other things. So, so you actually, when you do that, you end up with the thing all one color. So with some simple ingredients that you can get from the supermarket, some sort of oil, uh, some sort of uh, rubbing alcohol, which you can get from the pharmacy, um, and a little bit of water, which you can get from the tap, you can make yourself a lava lamp in your very own kitchen. For full instructions and a few safety tips, you can see uh, the instructions that you'll find in the description for this video. Have fun, be careful, and uh, enjoy learning about how planets work.